Earlier today, power line was down over here. Screw that, I'm going straight. It was actually right here. See this fucking tree went down. Yeah. Um, right there. It was fucking gnarly, dude. It was smoking. It's insane. Okay. So, how's it going, sons? My name is Blind Run. What am I? What, what, what am I about? Alright, so today's topic is going to be what happened to all my mining content and my tech content. Let's talk about it for a little bit because that'll be uh, something I think a lot of people will be interested in, kind of. There's a lot of stuff going on as well on YouTube and Adpocalypse and all that drama. I guess there was the chowder clowder problems and just insanity. A lot of YouTubers losing revenue and uh, the algorithm doing crazy things. And, and, and I kind of want to talk about why I'm not making much content why my contents uh, kind of shifted to the, I guess what you're seeing now, which is uh, moto vlogging and, and, and where, where I see the future of this channel going and so on and so forth. So, uh, first of all, um, I guess last year beginning at, well, two years ago, starting around 2017, end of 2017 and through, um, through 2018 my channel grew a lot and there were lots a lot lots of you guys and and all that was due to cryptocurrency mining now I kind of caught that wave in a very um, kind of natural way I, I I always like to make videos on things I'm interested in what I'm doing at the time that way I'm uh, a passionate about it and uh, me just kind of documenting, right? Uh, I like to document what I'm doing and I was doing a lot of cryptocurrency. So I had already kind of made videos about cryptocurrency before the rise, right? So in the algorithm, I was quite literally number one on YouTube for the keyword crypto or the keywords cryptocurrency mining. And even for a little while, uh, I was number one on uh, search terms for cryptocurrency just in general. And so the channel really, really took off. It was in, it was just absolutely insane. Uh, I've been doing YouTube and Twitch or some form of content creation as a hobby for at this point over seven years. Ooh, catching that rut, gotta be, pay attention there. So. It's not like I haven't been around. I just never been super successful until 2017. And that wasn't even like super successful, right? There's plenty of money channels that are over 100K uh, subscribers and, and uh, grew a lot faster or were ahead of me. And then even cryptocurrency mining channels, which have more uh, subs, not more views. Uh, I think I was still beating when I was doing it, I was still beating out like great guys like Voxcoin and, and Bits Be Trippin' on views. Just because I ha had the previous experience from how to review things and how to film things from uh, the tech tubing stuff I had been doing. And I understood the live streaming because I had always done that on Twitch. So I kind of had a little bit of a, um, some experience with like clickbaitiness and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, I've been a fan of like tech tubers and stuff since even before that like 2010 even all the way back to 2008 I think the first time I ever got on Twitch was back in probably 2007 2008 and I was watching uh, day 9 TV primarily and um, Total Biscuit I was a huge Starcraft 2 fan so I, like I've been in that world or that realm for a long time. It's just something I enjoy doing. And um, 
So let's get kind of like to the rise and the fall of Son of Attack, right? So there's a there's a few things. It's a there's a few things that kind of have been going on, and and it has some to do with the algorithms. It has some to do with the dying interest in the topics the channel got popular on and it has some to do with me not making content right and my personality and so on and so forth and um i think no matter what you do have to keep in mind that everybody's human and everybody has their day job going on i think a lot of a lot of flack and, and shade thrown at random which I, I guess i could talk about in depth on a whole other video uh, a lot of shade and stuff that gets thrown at, at uh, YouTubers is not well founded. You, you just need to keep in mind that everybody's human is, that, is I think uh, where I would go from there. There's a lot of stuff going on lately too. So uh, the channel blew up. I actually won an award which is cool. I got to fly to New York City and get that. And then I leveraged that to try to move into like tech content and getting like review samples. And we got a few, I mean, we never got like the graphics card review samples or anything like that, but it was enough to like make content. And then for a while I was able to leverage it to keep making content, right? Um, and, and keep getting products. It, it, you're never gonna make i don't know there are people that will but as a small youtuber you don't make enough money even if you have a good job which i think i do have a good job you're never gonna make enough money to take care of a family kids uh just your day-to-day -day medical expenses and and rent and all of that and then also be able to buy twelve hundred dollar graphics cards when they launch <laughs> and and do the reviews it doesn't work like that now i have some strategies that i've always done to get around that and it, in turn it makes my reviews come out late though and then they don't get as many views and it's hard to grow a channel that way and one of the things i use is something called cutting edge gamer which you guys have probably heard me talk about before now while the lease terms are way too expensive and not worth it if you're actually just trying to buy a graphics card i would recommend like using a credit card or something like that for a starting tech tuber it works out pretty well because you can just rent it and it's unlimited upgrades basically i just consider it a recurring cost and i get one gpu at a time and i trade them out um but part of that got more difficult of course when cryptocurrency hit because they couldn't really keep cards in stock either i was pretty good about staying up super late and clicking clicking upgrade as soon as it got listed or waking up really early and doing that sort of thing um so i was able to like get those products and then i had a couple lucky things where amazon shipped me a ryzen what was it a ryzen 5 2400g early and that got about 50,000 views but if you look at like what is it it's about a dollar per thousand views is that give or take and it's gotten a lot worse on youtube so on 50,000 views right um that's 50 bucks and even a ryzen 5 2400 g is going to run you 130 bucks i think it was like i think like shipped and everything right right when it launched like it was 150 160 dollars i don't even make that money back right and then selling that product used uh after the fact you're going to take a cut there you can barely get your money back there you're always going to be losing money if you're trying to do a review or a tech channel or something along those lines um so when so i kind of did leverage it and i tried my best to kind of make that function and make that shift uh, because what happened with cryptocurrency is it died and one of the big uh things that i had going for me was like the uh mining rig wars which i love doing and was pretty awesome but i noticed that like every week it was just a little less views a little less views a little less views and then eventually like subs just stopped started dropping off and and 
I mean, revenue was just insane hits. You're talking about like spending 40, 50 hours a week after, after work. So you're talking about, you know, pulling 80 to 120 hour weeks, trying to keep up with content. I'm only a single person. I don't have editors, which I mean, I have one guy that's helping me out now, but uh, that I was trying to get to do it, but, uh, and he does a great job. And that's a different story for a different time. I just don't even barely have enough time to actually create the content to send off for editing. So then I started looking at that and then looking at the revenue and then comparing that to like what other things I could spend my time on. And I think that's why you guys probably saw a shift of me doing things like just live streaming video games. I figured if I'm not going to make money and I'm dumping all this time into it. I want to do something that I enjoy, right? I could, whether that's like riding motorcycles, uh, playing video games, something along those lines. Let's just say like all those DMs and such are not. It, it's very taxing emotionally. And then you get into like the comment section and you know that you you have like if you're a small tech tuber or even just a small youtuber you have to reply to everyone and you have and that's what that's going to encourage you to do is you're going to go through and even though there might be like 10 positive comments there's always going to be a few negative comments and the and the fact of the matter is and i don't care who you are you're going to let those negative comments through more than you're going to let the the positive ones get through so then it becomes a mentally taxing thing so now you're on to like a three-part it's not it's not financially advantageous it's not physically advantageous and it's not mentally advantageous so i turned the comments off and uh saw a huge dive in in interactivity and all that uh but my mood increased and then I just kind of use the time to like recover from that and now one of the reasons that the 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 channel has so many issues is that my viewer base was only interested in mining and 90% of those people are not interested in cryptocurrency after the dive and now I guess there might be some resurgence whatever um, and um, YouTube boxed me into an algorithm of literally only cryptocurrency. So any other keywords that I have or type in, my ranking's so low that, that you wouldn't even get like listed or suggested anywhere by YouTube on any of those topics. So then you're stuck in a topic that died, right? And if you're stuck in a dead topic, <laughs> on top of all the other problems that arise with like just making content on YouTube, it's like, well, fuck, like, why, why the fuck am I wasting my time on like even creating content at all? Which is why you notice the break. Now there's been a resurgence and there's a few parts. Why would I start doing moto vlogs? Right? What? What? That makes no sense. You should spend your time more wisely. You should spend it doing uh, a tech review, something that your audience is interested in, right? Um, well, the biggest problem with that is that, or that the reason why, I should say, the moto vlogs happen is it something i can do while i'm riding home from work or um riding to work or commuting so it's part of my commute this is time spent regardless of what i'm doing during this time so doing something like a moto vlog means i'm using my time as efficiently as possible and then that frees up time for me afterwards to do things that are more uh, advantageous for my my mental health and for my physical health I can get back in the gym more I can spend more time with my kids and so on and so forth so 
that's why moto vlogs plus just being outside if you work in IT so for me working in IT all the time I'm inside at a computer all day and then I was inside at a computer all day every day and all night every night trying to do YouTube content it's just not healthy it's just not fucking healthy uh, it's not like it's something I love to do but it's something that I realized was having a pretty big impact on my mood and health and I just I think that like being outside and be doing this like on the weekend if I'm like oh I have time to do a video instead of just sitting there and testing I'll come up with the topic and speaking of I need more topics in the comment section below I'll come up with the topic and just go for a ride and talk it out and and maybe we'll be able to get back to other content um, depending on where things go I mean at this point the channel is literally just a siphon of, of money and so I, I need to at least spend the, the the time wisely right so that's kind of like what's happened with the channel why everything kind of died off why I'm doing moto vlogs and not uh, and, and, and yes so I, I posted a, um, a photo of my subscriber count as soon as I posted a moto vlog I lost 100 subs so I'm planning on uh, going all the way back down to like a thousand subs totally planning on it I'm gonna keep posting the moto vlogs and uh, still try to do helpful content I, I really like doing the videos like how to get the the shit running and so on like the MTG arena stuff like the helpful stuff I really like doing so how to's if I run across stuff um, I'm gonna do those just because I like having those helpful videos up and I think that contributes to society in a manner that I can be uh, proud of and then this stuff is just gonna be for absolute fun also I'm gonna be looking for people to ride with in the uh, Central Texas and South Texas area so if you ride and you want to go ride let me know um, we're kind of putting starting to put a small crew together for weekend rides so that should be fun I think it'll be good. Nice beetle. I like it. And then we'll go from there. That's a real nice beetle. I love it. Alright son, so that's going to wrap it up for me today. This is Blind Run with Son of Attack. Um, join me for my ride. Hopefully this will be something the kids enjoy one day too when I'm old and decrepit and nursing home. I bet the quality is going to be shit compared to whatever there is around then. Won't that be insane? I'll see you next Tuesday. Brop, brop. Yeah.